Hey guys, Mr. Alec here on an early Tuesday morning for a new science experiment for you today. The reason I'm doing it on Tuesday instead of Thursday usually because I want to make sure you guys have some time to gather all the supplies you need for this experiment. It's not much, but might require some outside help from parents to siblings, okay? So this week, since we're doing our theme week, we're going to do rainbow paper kind of like rainbow water we just did with the skittles and hot water but this one's a little different okay so what are we doing rainbow paper okay so remember this is going to be done for thursday on our art theme day that's why we're choosing super colorful super vibrant and we're going to make some rainbow paper okay so again i'm sorry if you hear all the dogs scurrying in the background they want to go outside uh but uh, I'll make sure they're quiet for the rest of the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to our need list and we'll get started. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to need for your rainbow paper is going to be a large bowl, okay? A large bowl uh, to make sure that you don't spill any water. That's why I say get a large one because you don't want to spill any water when you're putting your paper in it or anything like that. So you want a large bowl so you can put all your water in. So water is going to go in it. So that's what you're gonna need, a large bowl. All right, next item on the list is going to be some paper towels. If you have some paper towels or napkins or anything like that, that will work. You're gonna put your rainbow paper on it afterwards to let it dry, okay? So you need some paper towels. The next item on our list is going to be some black construction paper. If you have black construction paper or cardstock, it doesn't matter which, just make sure it's black. So you can see all the cool colors that is going to show up onto our paper, okay? This was a regular piece of paper before. I just cut it up into little squares since it's a little easier to see instead of the big square. And also to fit inside your bowl, okay? So black construction paper and small squares, okay? All right, guys. The last thing you're going to need for this experiment, and the most important thing, of course, you need this for this experiment, is some clear nail polish okay so this is the part you might need help on so maybe a sibling or your parents or even yourself already has this okay if not it's really simple to go get some okay this is what you're gonna need to make all the colors pop on that black construction paper okay that's what you're gonna need clear nail polish Alrighty guys, and there you have it. There is your short need list for your rainbow water experiment. So again, just to go over what we need, you're going to need a large bowl for your water. You're going to need paper towels to dry your rainbow water. You're gonna need black cardstock or construction paper cut into small squares like this so it can easily fit into your bowl, okay? Last but not least, your nail polish, your clear nail polish, make sure it's clear. So maybe a sibling, yourself, or a parent might have this to help you with it. So we're gonna use a few drops from that so I know um, we can use just a little bit, just a tiny bit for our project, okay? All right, so that's what you're going to need. All right, guys, there you have it. There's all your things you're going to need for your experiment for your rainbow paper. Again, we're gonna have our large bowl for water, our paper towels for drying, our black construction paper, for the, pa the rainbow paper and our nail polish to make the colors pop on there, okay? So super simple, that's all you need, but just to make sure you'll have a parent or a sibling help you with nail polish, okay? So let's get started guys. So your first step is going to fill up water into your bowl here. All right, after we get our water, I'm gonna take our paper towels over here and I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna place it next to the bowl for when we dry our water. I know you can't see it, so we have behind the bowl, maybe we can move it just a little bit. I'm gonna place it over here. So when we get our paper out of the water, we can go straight to drying it, okay? So I put two over there so we can dry it, okay? Now this is the fun step. So you're now gonna take your clear nail polish and you're gonna have somebody help you, sibling, parent. You're gonna take it and you're gonna do only a few drips into the water. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four drips of nail polish into the water. 
All right, guys, the fun part, the part you've been waiting for, the rainbow water part. So we're gonna take our black construction paper and you're gonna put it flat. You're gonna put it flat into the bowl of water, okay? You're gonna put it flat and make sure it's completely submerged inside the water, okay? Only for a few seconds, right? Okay, and then you're gonna lift it out and put it on the water, the, oop, uh, the uh, paper, paper towel to dry, okay? I'm gonna do this a few more times and then see how a different couple ones come out, okay? All right, guys, after you have used some of the construction paper and tinkered around with it a little bit, uh, you're gonna have some different pieces of black paper, okay? So let me show you mine, okay? As you can see, it took me a while to get it just right. It takes a while. You know, science is all about trial and error. So that was my first one. Moving on to my second one, if I can pick them up. See, they get better and better. You can see all the colors in this one, all right? That's why it's called rainbow paper, because it looks like a rainbow. Moving on. That one came out pretty cool, all the cool patterns on it. Let's see this one. See, even went back a little bit, so this one not so much, or this one here. Okay. And this one over here. This one had a really good shiny piece on the top. Not so much, but this one right here turned out really cool. I like this one a lot. This one turned out really cool. As you can see all of the colors when you put it back and forth. Awesome. And you have this one also turned out really cool. Looks like a galaxy to me. Awesome, and the very last one I did turned out really cool as well. So there is your rainbow water experiment, okay? Again, make sure an adult can help you or a sibling can help you because it can get a little messy with the water, all right? But that is our rainbow water experiment. I hope you all had fun doing your rainbow water. Again, remember this is for our art day, so be creative. Maybe even try different color construction paper than this black. Maybe a light gray, yellow, and see what happens. See what happens when you put different construction paper in the water with a nail polish. Maybe come out different. Who knows? That's the fun of science, right? You always try and you see where you get something new, okay? So go ahead and go and do your experiment. I wanna see all your awesome experiments. So I wanna see how this one turns out too. So good job, guys. Keep going. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until next time. I'll see you later.